I'm Pu Zhang. I love play video games. In a video game, big bosses are way stronger than other characters. Winning the game requires a good knowledge of the nature of big bosses. In real life, I try to beat another big boss called acute myeloid leukemia (AML). AML is the most deadly blood cancer. In 2020. There are 21,400 cases of AML in United States. The death rate for AML is much higher than any other leukemia types. AML is very dangerous for older patients. This plot shows the survival time for all those cancer patients aged 65 or older. We can see that those who are diagnosed with AML. Have a shortest survival time compared with all the other cancers. Currently, the ways of treating AMLs are very limited. Patients rely on chemotherapies. There are also targeted therapies available. Midostorin is one of the targeted therapies. It is a small molecule inhibitor that can inhibit a growth factor receptor pathways leading to leukemia growth. After taking pills, patient achieve remission. After that, relapse happens. Over the years, there are several targeted therapies available and approved by FDA. They are targeting either a genetic mutations or signaling molecules. Finally, they lose their efficacy towards AML. Why? This is because AML are so smart. They can evolve and develop new mutations. So, can we develop new therapies targeting a different cancer features other than mutations? Yes. One consideration is to take advantage of leukemia metabolisms. We like candy, so does AML. We know that blood sugar is a type of nutrient that supply energy source for the cell to survive. Besides sugar. Normal cells can use other nutrients, such as fatty acid and amino acid, to support them. Conversely, leukemia are addicted to blood sugar to meet their energy needs. Therefore, can we starve them by inhibit glucose metabolisms? The answer is yes, but very tough. This is a map of cancer metabolic network. We can see it is a very complex system consisting a lot of nodes and paths. Each node represents an individual enzyme, so it's impossible for us to inhibit one metabolic enzyme after another to inhibit leukemia growth. Luckily, scientists have developed a very powerful tool called CRISPR screen to help identify therapeutic targets. We all know that CRISPR. Is a magic scissor to edit and delete genes in the genome. It uses a short nucleotide sequence called guide RNA to find the right location in the genome and use Cas9 enzyme to make cards. When it comes to thousands of genes, what we need to do is to pull all those guide RNA and allow them to make cards in the genome to delete genes. It's almost like fission. If we throw one bait into the water, we can capture one fish at a time. If we throw thousands of baits into the water, we can capture a lot of fish at the same time. This is the whole idea behind CRISPR screen. This is the process of CRISPR screen. We design guided RNA for all the genes in the genome and incorporate them into the viral vector. We pull the guided RNA and allow them to form a, an entity called CRISPR guided RNA library. Then we pack them into a virus. The cells are infected by virus, and after selection, those cells carries guided RNA for essential genes die out. Then we can take out all those guided RNA and get them sequenced. In this way, we can easily compare guided RNA before and after selection to find which genes are essential for leukemia cells. This is our result for CRISPR screen for AML. 
we call it volcano plot. This is because it looks like erupting volcano. Those blue bubbles are those genes whose deletion are lethal to the cells. Those red bubbles are those genes whose deletion make cells happier and grow better. Our focus is on those blue genes because we want to identify essential genes for leukemia. The genes in the upper, right upper left corner are those genes whose deletion are lethal to the cancer. Among them, there are two glucose metabolism-related genes, HK1 and PFKM, stand out as top hits and targets. We have inhibitor for them. After we treat cells with all those inhibitors, AML cells are starved and then they die. In the long run, we can test them in the clinical trial to see whether they can prevent leukemia relapse and benefit AML patients. Beta AML is a program try to find novel therapies to beat this big boss AML. It uses advanced technology to identify each patient's genetic makeup and match patient to the most promising therapeutics. It has a benefit a lot of patients. Hopefully, we can identify new therapeutics for AML and beat this deadly disease. Thank you.